Hello again and welcome back to our course on PSE 12. In this section we're going to look at blending layers and in order to help to demonstrate this I've introduced a new layer into the image we've been working on and this is a section of one of those orchid pictures that we looked at earlier in the course. At the moment as you can see I've got about eight layers in this image now and the only layer that is visible is the one with the orchid on it and apart from the orchid itself the rest is transparent as the background is not shown. Now when we're talking about blending modes we're talking about how the pixels in a layer blend with the layers below that layer and the layers could be regular layers such as this one with this flower in it or they could actually be adjustment layers. Now one important thing to bear in mind in that is that it's how a layer blends with the layers below it. If as in this case I only have one layer visible and I change the blending mode by clicking on this drop down say I change it to multiply you notice no discernible difference because it only has an effect when you've got at least one other layer visible below the layer that you've got selected so let me make that color fill layer visible and now we've got a flower on a very clashing sort of background color. Now let's try one of these blending modes. Let's start at the top. Let's try dissolve. Not much of a discernible difference there. What about darken? And now you can start to see the effect. And before we go too much farther I need to point a couple of things out to you. First of all if you look at the list of blending modes it's quite a long list and considering that we're talking about blending modes between all sorts of different layers, all sorts of images, adjustments and fills, we could be here for many happy hours, days, weeks or years going through all the combinations that are possible and that's definitely something that I'm not going to do. In fact very largely speaking as far as this is concerned I'm going to leave you to experiment with these things yourself but I want to just talk about one or two of these blending modes and the effects they have in these specific situations because some of the terminology that is used is quite important. A very good place to look at the terminology is that PDF file where it defines base color which is the original color in the image, the blend color which is the color that is applied by whatever you're doing, the painting tool or the editing tool or whatever and then you've also got the resulting color. The resulting color is the one that results from the blending together of the base and the blend. Now within the general Photoshop Elements PDF there is a whole section on blending modes and for each of those blending modes it goes through and gives you a description of exactly what's going on and I suggest that the best thing to do is for you to get a copy of that PDF I've shown you how to obtain it and to go through those blending modes choose an example like this one get yourself an image maybe a background color or even superimpose one image or I should say section of one image onto another image and actually see how two images blend together and I think you'll have many happy hours looking at all the possibilities of the effects that you can achieve. But I think even looking at this one example, I think you'll probably start to get some idea of some of the effects you can get by blending the layers in a PSE 12 image. Now if you take Darken for example, what Darken does is that PSE 12 looks at the color, all the color information in those two layers and it selects either the base color or the blend color whichever is darker and it chooses that as the result color and then any colors that are lighter than that are replaced and the pixels that are darker on the blend color do not change so basically sort of summarizing what's happened in this particular case the lighter pinky sort of colored parts of the petals of the orchid have been replaced by that background color or largely speaking anyway 
and the darker colours from the original picture of the orchid flower are pretty much remain the same and depending where they are in the scale light to dark they've been replaced by that background colour that fill colour to a greater or lesser extent now in order to understand each of those blending modes it's a great idea to go through that PDF as I say and it will describe to you how each of those effects works and I think once you get to understand some of those effects you're going to be able to use them to very good effect now what I'd like to do is just show you one more example what I've done here is to switch off the fill color to switch on the background copy so we're now looking at that orchid in its if you like its natural state so we've got a flower on a white background I've also inserted a new adjustment layer at the top of the pile it's a posterize adjustment and it's currently invisible so let me just make it visible and let me go into its settings the posterize adjustment layer just has levels and by changing those levels I can have different effects such as that which is posterize set at level 2 an interesting effect of course this is an adjustment layer it's the currently selected layer and I can choose the blend mode there so if I chose a blend mode here of say color dodge again note the effect that each of those blend modes have that's color dodge color burn and so on again it's a good idea to look at the description of each of those blending modes in the PDF and you'll soon develop your own skills about how to use these blending modes whether they're applied to regular layers or to adjustment layers that's it on blending layers I'll see you in the next section